We're here with Captain John Little and we are going to talk about tarpon. Yes, ma'am. Super excited to talk about this because Port A was actually the tarpon city of of the world. Right. That's what right. we were just talking about. It's very, very uh, world renowned for it. Right. It used to be uh, back in the 60s, 70s, it was huge. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt actually would come down every year mm -hmm. and he'd make a huge trip out of it. And uh, we had a presidential fishing grounds uh, and they would catch lots of big tarpon. Unfortunately, uh, they've been caught out. We don't have that fishery anymore, but we can still catch them. Uh, right. It's not uncommon to catch a five, six foot tarpon Isn't out in the right? surf or on the jetties. That's right. Uh, the Tarpon Inn in Port Aransas actually, if you walk into it, the lobby of it has mm -hmm. over 7,000 scales on the walls and they're wow. all signed by each person. Have you ever seen a, a scale of a tarpon? I have, they're, I have. And the tarpon exhibit- They're literally huge. Like they're humongous. Yeah, sure, and the they're fish monsters. are even, Right. They're even monsters. Yes, and they have a tarpon exhibit in Port A now, which is really cool. That's right. It's um, opening yesterday, I believe. Yes, yeah. this week. And I just want to know why we can't catch them anymore. I know you can catch them in Florida, um, but why? I mean, we can, like you said. I didn't even know that we still can catch them, but why is that? Well, just like my good buddy David Rousey says, <laughs> remember the buffalo. You kill them all, and then there's not anymore. And that's exactly what happened to our fishery. It was overfished back mm -hmm. in the 60s and 70s. And of course, whenever you overfish, your population depletes. There's nothing there to replace the population. So now we have to deal with that. And uh, it's actually coming back. CCA is actually working on it. Uh, they're Ooh. trying to get the population built back up. And it's not uncommon to go out to the beach, like I was saying, and see a big school of 30 or 40 tarpon these days. Um, catching them is a different story. It's really hard to catch them. They're not very easy to catch, but you can do it. Yeah, so they're like massive. And so like, right. tell us how hard it is to like fight that because you have to tire them fighting out a right tarpon is probably one of the hardest fighting fish that there is other than like a blue marlin or a different pelagic like that but they jump they're very acrobatic so as soon as you hook onto them they're flying through the air and they're shaking their mouths mm -hmm. of course they open their mouth and it throws the hook out so it's right. very very hard to keep a fish like that hook it's just almost impossible. So but I have to ask, whenever you're out fishing for tarpon, what type of bait should we use when we're out there? They love mullet. Mullet, um, okay. Especially down in the Florida Keys. Whenever we go down to the Florida Keys, that's what we typically use is a live mullet or a live crab, a real small blue crab. And a couple of years ago, we actually went down and we uh, latched onto one on the smallest reel that we had and it mm -hmm. spooled us within like 20 seconds. Wow. It was just too big of a fish for that small of a reel but we were using a small blue crab mm -hmm. and you just free line it on a little circle hook and no weight or anything, just swimming freely on top of the water. And of course the tarpon will see it. They come up, roll on it, suck oh, yeah. it in and the fight's on. When you say little circle hook, how big is little so circle So you remember hook? our hook something that we had? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Not that big monster, but the little bitty three and four aught circle hook. It's really small, uh, maybe a little bigger than the size of a quarter is the, the size of the circle hook that you'll use. Interesting, because you think their mouths are so big that they would need a big hook. Right, right, but it actually that's counterproductive because you want a smaller hook, that way it doesn't shake out as easy. There's not as much weight for whenever they start shaking their head. Right. It's just stuck into their lip and it's hard to fling off, kind of like an earring. A heavy earring is going to come out easy. Oh, yes. A small earring is going to stay in easier. Right, Same thing. Right. And you Same concept. You mentioned crab, and I know that you can catch um, some really big drum using that type of bait as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, what does the fishing look like this weekend? What can we catch It's going to be amazing. It has been. Uh, we've been catching black drum very regularly. Uh, right. We're just using uh, dead shrimp on the bottom, and uh, they're sucking it up really quick. Use a jig head. You don't have to put any other weight on it other than a jig head throw a, a dead shrimp on it, put it on the bottom, and you will catch black drum. They're out there running the channels right now. Uh, the trout are getting really feisty right now. Top water season's coming, and uh, top waters are gonna be a blast here coming up pretty soon. Uh, I'd like to do a live segment, hopefully sometime, yes. so I can show everybody how to work a top water lure properly, but basically whenever you cast it out, the top water will hit the water, sort of like a bird's dropping a mullet or something. Right. You let it sit, wait until your wake disappears, and then you start to work your bait. And of course the fish see that, they think it's natural, and they're gonna explode on it, so. So I can assume, I've never I've never caught a tarpon, but it's on the bucket list. Um, what is that like versus a huge redfish, like a bull red? What is the fight it's, like? It's, it's, it's 10 it's times better. I can it's a totally different fight uh, that, acrobatics from the tarpon will blow you away. They're just immediately explosive out of the water, 
five, six foot up into the air. It's amazing. I actually have some video I can show you later yes. on my phone Sounds from good. when we went to the Florida Keys. It was just a small two footer, but it was jumping six foot out of the air. So a redfish. Right. They may pull their heads up and shake, but yeah, nothing my, like a tarpon. I know, it's my favorite fish, so that's why I was wondering. <laughs> so, Still a good fight, though, yeah, both of them. absolutely, absolutely. Yep. So fishing is going to be great this weekend. Yes, ma'am. Um, awesome, looking forward to that. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about as far as tarpon go? I know that you can catch them a lot in Florida. When was the last time you caught a tarpon? Uh, back in 2018. That 18. was our um, last trip that we actually fished for them. Last year we went, we targeted Mai Mai, and uh, we did a lot of spear fishing. So we did hog snap barracuda and um, grouper so we didn't concentrate too much on tarpon last okay. year when we went but whenever we went in 2018 we hooked up four of them mm -hmm. and reeled in zero of them I see. <laughs> they were just they're so acrobatic they're hard to reel in my girls tried so hard I was recording them that's what I'm gonna show you this okay, recording great. of it and then uh, it's just awesome experience. Yes, absolutely. Just... Well, hopefully we can catch a tarpon sometime, right? I would love to catch a tarpon just to see like the show. Yeah, the acrobatic show. <laughs> yep, it's better than a globe trotter show. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think them's those farting words right there. That's right. I can agree. Well, coming up, if you're curious about what the weather is going to be like this weekend, I've got you covered. Your weekend weather report is coming up next. You're watching Coastal Living.